Wouldn't it be great if Elgato sent you a stream deck, which out of the box already had custom tiles, your logos, designs, what was visually interesting to you, all your OBS scenes, every transition sound effect that you could possibly want already installed? Unfortunately, they don't do that and you gotta figure out how to set it up. I'm gonna show you how I've set mine up and talk you through the logic on why I have it set up that way. All right, so let's talk about the Stream Deck and how I've set it up. I personally am very visual. I want to look at my Stream Deck and know what to press at any given moment, even when things are going nuts on stream. So I like to use a lot of sound effects. I have a mix of both OBS scenes, some automated Twitch things that happen, like follower only chat. Um, I also have sound effects I can press at a moment's notice, backing tracks, and for me, I prefer images. You can decide that you want text, however you'd like to set it up. But for me, this is what's helpful. I like to have the top row reserved for OBS scenes. I have five that I switch through while I'm streaming Rocket League. And those are full screen webcam, uh, which is right here. I have my chatting feature, uh, the chatting screen, the uh, full screen in-game overlay i have my be right back and then i have a button to end the stream i can click these and then once i click them the other button shows up you can see this is the um non-active button when i actually click the button on my stream deck which i'll demo for you in a second it shows that i'm live in that scene these are all sound effects um, from you know the beagle to the two guys high-fiving to my friend Josh that I meme a lot on stream uh, to uh, Jiminy Cricket, uh, the iTunes logo. These are all sound effects and music um, that I've decided are important in my stream. So for example, I'll just press one. The dabbing beagle is the intro music to my stream. So when I click it, it plays the music and I can start my stream and it says stream is starting and then I come in and I just click you know the button and then the music stops inside of this software um, you can decide to have no fade since I usually let that whole song play out I generally don't have a fade on that but if you wanted to have a fade out you could have a two second fade out and then the song won't end as abruptly. So it's that simple to, to change the way a button functions for a sound effect, for example. Um, I won't go through every sound effect, but I do have folders set up, which I think is important. Um, I have a lot of different backing tracks that I might play at any given time for different scenarios. So for example, I have a deep suspenseful song that I'll play sometimes when I'm dead and I'm just, you know, waiting for something to happen in Spellbreak, for example. I'll just click this. And that has a nice long fade out. So um, I've set that up for a five second fade. Um, and it's a, just a play stop. There's all kinds of functionality you can select from overlap, play restart, loop stop. And when you create the button, this is how easy it is to create a new sound effect. You drag play audio over from the soundboard icon, the soundboard subheader, and then you select the file from your computer. I have a whole sound effects folder. I'm gonna say, okay, this is a chill loop. I'm gonna open it. I'll turn the volume down a little bit. And then I'm gonna click fade out. We'll give it a three second fade so that even if I decide to play this sound effect, and I don't want the whole sound effect, I can cl click the button again on the sound on the stream deck and it will stop playing that music and it'll have a nice fade. So that's the uh, adding a button. The custom icons, I made all these myself and that's super easy too. So let me go ahead and open up a browser here. I already have a search done for new button. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and select I don't know. That one's kind of cool. Uh, what's going to pop real well on the stream deck? You kind of want something that's got really, really bright colors. Um, so we'll just go with, uh, 
I mean, I kind of like this one. So save image as. One thing to pay attention to, JPEG and .png are both fine. Um, other image files, I've had issues with Elgato Stream Button Creator. So I'm gonna just click save to my desktop. And then I'm gonna, I'll link this in the description, but then I click the uh, Stream Deck Creator where you can make Stream Deck yours. Um, I click the image. I've already downloaded a couple. I'm gonna open that one I just downloaded and I'm gonna hit move it over a little bit and increase the size slightly just so that new pops real well. Cause you gotta remember these keys are tiny. And then I'm gonna click save key. And then all I have to do is literally go back to my stream deck, which is right here. And I click set from file. And then I can select from downloads. Stream Deck Key 61, which is what we just made. And you can see it says Chill Loop at the bottom. I just delete the title and I leave it as the new button. And then when I click this, it's gonna play that Chill Loop. And I know whatever image I selected is gonna be what reminds me of that situation or song. So that's how to make the Stream Deck accessible visually for yourself. Um, again, if I have good scenarios on stream, I have a whole stream folder, a whole stream folder of really good things that might happen on a stream. I have environmental sounds that might happen uh, that I want to play. Um, I also have a button that uh, clips for me so I can auto generate clips without having to go back into the stream. Um, this is just a um, Twitch you know, button that I created where you go over into the Twitch thing and you can say, create a clip. You drag this over the same way you did a sound effect. You can clip your, clip your uh, stream. There's also buttons like followers only chat. Again, all these buttons, all I did was Google an image that I thought looked good and I dragged it over. I created the uh, custom button and now I know like I can send an autom automatic tweet out to my Twitter account. It says, I'm live, come back with the beagle that is sneaky. You link your Twitter account to the stream deck and then it tweets it out for you automatically when I go live. Um, you can send welcome messages when you're live in your chat. Um, it's super easy. You can mark things on the stream. The stream deck is immensely powerful. I won't go through all the different types of things you can set up, but I will show you um, the last thing for me, what's really helpful, this is the test stream that I'm actually streaming in with my OBS folder now uh, to create this YouTube video. Um, when you can see right now, I'm in my display screen. When I click over to um, a different image, that will then become the live one. So um, when I click the button, it plays my transitions and overlays. That's just a setting inside of OBS. So um, it's super, super simple to um, have on there. So really nice for me having this really visual, um, pretty stream deck makes me feel like I'm gonna have a really good stream and it also makes sure that I'm not gonna get lost while I'm streaming. And of course, no good first YouTube video would be complete without forgetting to film your outro and having to do it on a totally different day. So if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as a reminder, I stream every Thursday night on Twitch. Join me there and come babble with the beagle that is sneaky. This is the Sneaky Beagle. Thanks for watching. Well played. Yes, dude! I read that like a freaking novel, dude. I was like, hmm, let me see here. Oh, yes, you were trying to stop me and uh, the other guy can't get the save. Um, good book, close it. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs>